And that's 100. Start the game already! <laughs> Alright. Guys, welcome back to Epic Battle Fantasy. I was doing a little bit of a marathon, but decided to take a break. I tried to record a little bit of this, but had a bit of issues and decided I was getting sick. It wasn't going well. I needed to scrap what I had and wait until I got better. And as it turns out, I had strep throat. I'm not joking. Uh, before anything, Let's get this fixed. You notice the little graphical glitches there, and that was me setting it to full screen mode. Because I like these borders, they're very nice. So, previously in Epic Battle Fantasy 3, the ancient demon Akron was defeated by three young adventurers, and their pet cat. Matt the warrior, Natalie the magician, and Lance the gunman had saved the world and become living legends. Afterwards, the heroes and pillaged towns for a living because they could get away with it. They saved the world for cer from certain destruction, so it could be argued that they earned the right to everything within it. This behavior quickly made them many enemies. From Fast forward to today, a sacred jewel was stolen from the village of Greenwood. Local legends say that terrible things will happen if this jewel falls into the wrong hands. Anna, a young ranger and a resident of Greenwood, was very upset by this news. Anna quickly prepared it to chase down the infamous trio who were spawned nearby, and who she suspects must have taken the jewel, and so an epic new adventure begins. That's right guys, so uh, this game is quite a bit different than the third game. The first two games were very akin, with the second just being pretty much an improvement upon the first. The third one was, like this game, an actual RPG adventure kind of game. And this fourth one decides to change things up even further. By, uh... Actually making us play someone else. <laughs> so, as you can see, we have one medal. Start the game already. Smash 100 idols on the loading screen. Because clicking randomly makes the game load faster. And let's head out. So, we're just going to be adventuring around the village here for a little bit. This is actually Anna's home, as you can tell by the home right here. Cake, donut, coffee... Was this place such a mess when I left? <laughs> it probably was. Right, looking over at Matt like he ransacked everything. It's all your fault. <laughs> huh? I think I saw something in a bunch of mushrooms over there. This is introducing us to hidden items. They are all over the place and they will just be essentially a good source of items. Of course, there are chests which can be found when you go in buildings and look behind them. There are a lot of chests over here as well. These bushes haven't been trimmed for a long time. Looks like I'll need the axe to cut them down. But I don't have an axe, so not a lot I can do there. So let's start talking to people. Hey, Anna. What's up? You're, you're alone today? I finally, got, I finally dumped my loser boyfriend, by the way. After training for two years, he's still gonna defeat a slime. I need to find someone who can protect me in case anything bad happens, you know? I think you could learn some archery if you wanted to, but you're just too lazy. Exactly, I don't trust myself to do anything dangerous. Ooh. Well, there's, that's a big one. Rip Pikachu, you will be missed. So, uh... Wow, swords are so overrated. As you can tell, she's actually an archer. So we're not playing warrior to begin with. We can buy things here from this weapon shop. We sell high-end weapons and armor from all over the world. The sign is not here for testing your new weapons on it. Please don't do that. Kinda wish I could chop it down. Let's see, there's some stuff back here. Let's see if I can squeeze through this gap. Okay, ogleberries and honeycomb. So what I was talking about before, if you go inside of buildings, typically you can see behind them. So you can see if there's anything hidden over there. Um, 
think there's a... The, yeah, okay. Culverpin randomly blesses the player and three turnips. I actually didn't realize that was over there. Cool. So, since we actually got a pin already, we might as well equip that. So, Anna, don't pay any attention to these. We totally don't get them as party members. Randomly blesses the player. So, we have a clover pin. It gives that effect. We don't actually know what bless does because we don't have a skill that does that. Or at least I don't think we currently have a skill that does that. Oh, yep, we do have one, but it doesn't say it in its description. Yeah, so, bless, I don't actually remember what it does. Oh, hey, a bunch of chickens. It'd be a shame if something happened to them. Chicken molester. <laughs> yeah, they have to do that, and yes, it's pretty much required. <laughs> this is that kind of game, after all. Sadly, you don't get a trophy for doing this. And not trophy. An achievement? A medal? Medal is what they're called in those games. Sorry, I've actually been playing Persona 5 recently, and I just platinumed that game. I'm not gonna lie, it was great. <laughs> Ooh, that feels good. Massage me more. Behind the ears, too. Oh, good morning. It's not morning anymore. You should stop sleeping all day. And get that slime off your head. <laughs> not all slimes are bad. Some slimes are really friendly, like slime bunnies and slime cats. You meet a lot of people looking for holy water, but you should give it to me if you find any. I'll teach you how to use paper talismans. Do you have some cacti for me? I'm a bit obsessed with them. Yes, that's the voice I went with for her. Don't judge me. Aw, oh, man, I'm so tired. Alright, I was told to go to tell you to go into east ash to go east into Ashwood. There's not much else to do yet. Well, we just got some dirt balls from that bucket. Essentially, just look out for shiny things or anything that looks out of place, and you have a chance of finding hidden items. Like, if you check stacks of wood, sometimes you can find wood. I'm not exactly sure where all of them are, so I will probably miss a lot of them. But, uh... You know, please forgive me. The old food shop seems to be getting a lot of customers today. Eating food is good for your health, especially if you're injured. If you plan on fighting monsters, you should take some snacks with you. I missed that. Thanks for the tip, Julie, but I think I've already figured out the fact that people need to eat. You can also recover your HP and MP simply by waiting around, but that's a bit slower. It doesn't cost anything, though, so it's great at low levels. I've got a favor to ask. I'm making a new dress for myself, but I'm out of materials. If you help me out, I can give you my old one. So, we got a Choco Coronet. Not sure which end to eat first. Beef, which permanently increases your defense by 2%. Bacon, oh my god, it's bacon. What a disaster, this place doesn't sell bacon and eggs at the same time. I'll give you something good if you can make me a nice breakfast. Okay, so if we go into our food, as you can see, I'm in the wrong thing. Stats is what I meant to go to. If you go into your beef, you can actually increase your stats, just like in the previous games. Kind of. Um, instead of them just being a solid stat boost, they actually give percentages. So, let's say you get 50 per like pieces of beef and you give it to old one person. That's a 100% increase in your defense instead of a 100 points increase. So if your defense was, say, 300 to begin with, it would go up to 600 rather than being only at 400. On the downside, if your defense was 50, it only goes up to 100 instead of 150. It can be good and bad. You essentially want to give it to the people who have the best stats for those kind of things, so you can get the most out of it. Also, these stat items are not limited anymore. You can buy them, you can find them off enemies as a very rare drop, things like that. Crafting materials, key items. So Choco Coronets and Bacon are no longer stat boosting items. They're actually key items now that are necessary for quests. Instead, we have a bit of a difference here. Honeycombs increase your HP by 2%. Donuts increase your max magic defense by 2 Cake by... Ma you know, um, just read them. I, you're very capable. I know you're all smart people. Food shop. We specialize in high-calorie meals for those with active lifestyles. Make sure to stock up on supplies before heading out into the wilderness. They shouldn't leave meat out here. It'll attract dogs and bears and other animals. Hey, Anna. I've got quite an 
I heard you got quite a quest on your hands. Keep a lookout for rare items like pizza or orange juice, and as there are very limited supply of them, and you should save them for important battles. Oh. Yeah, obviously. But I'm actually more interested in food items like ham or beef that can raise my stats permanently. I'll be eating those as soon as I find them. You know, I would, but I actually don't want to do that in this. I actually want to save those items for other people. Okay, um... If we head into this building, is there anything behind this shop? There does not appear to be. So this item, this is the item shop. You buy stuff here, you can use them for crafting or for quests, yada yada. This lady is item shop. We combine self-crafting materials and random loot. Check us out. I'm an alchemist by profession, but I'm also a fan of archery. I'll lend you a cool bow if you bring me some crafting materials. Okay, we need glass, magma sample, and liquid ice. An elemental resistance of more than 100%. Okay, I'll actually explain this myself. All stat bonuses are relative to your current stats. Equipment modifies your stats by percentage, as do level ups, buffs, and stat boosting items. Yeah, that means stats grow exponentially, whatever that means. <laughs> so, what she was talking about, if we go into our stats, so, first, here are our stats. If I were to feed her the uh, honeycomb right now, her HP would go up by about 4, instead of just 2. But if I were to give her, let's say, a defense increasing item, it wouldn't go up at all, because that's how that works. <laughs> now, elemental resistances, on the other hand, let's say you have resistance resistance of zero, like she does for fire. That means she takes normal damage. Let's say she has a resistance of 100%. That means she is immune to all fire damage. If she has a negative resistance, she'll take more damage. And if she has a resistance of more than 100%, she'll actually start absorbing damage. So let's say she has 110%, she absorbs 10% of fire damage and you know negates the rest of it. If she has 200%, she absorbs all fire damage. It's pretty cool. Meanwhile, stats resistances, it goes up to 100 and down as far as negative 100. It's just how susceptible you are to these different status ailments, which, you know, you should be able to figure out what they do. Me and Erica work together to make these wooden idols you see jumping around. I chop the wood and she brings it to life with her magic. You can make golems out of pretty much any material, but we've got a lot of wood here, so that's what we use. I've heard of idols made from clay, ice, obsidian, and even rare gems. I see two are still doing well, as usual. Many creatures have become friendly with humans if they can benefit from it. You'll probably meet quite a few who will help you in your battle, in return for eliminating their competitors. So I have to wipe out wild monsters or in favors from friendly ones? I guess that kind of makes sense. Every Everything seems to be in order here. Looks like the idols have all finished their chores already. Okay, we got log and berries. Oh, I skipped a text thing there. Everything seems... Okay, no. Ooh, lanky root and turnips. Nashna and bug wings. Okay, I've confirmed I've gotten everything there. Slime bunnies are magical creatures who reveal themselves to those with pure hearts. In the wild, they can be found on ponds and rivers, but they can be quite hard to spot. They've also kept in buckets of water around town for good luck. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've got one at my house. They fully restore your HP and MP. Slime bunnies? What are you talking about? I wonder if there's one on the screen. The only way I can get to that treasure chest is if I walk on these lily pads, but I'm too heavy. On the screen... Slime bunnies have blessed the party, restoring their HP and MP. Essentially, it's a full heal. It's pretty awesome. Slime bunnies are very evasive creatures. Wearing their ears can boost your evade, but hunting them is illegal now. I do have a spare pair lying around that will wink, wink. It's cool, but you can't do that yet. We're not gonna bother here yet. We'll come back to that place later. As we figured out, we need to go east. I'm just checking all the screens here in town. See those stone blocks right over there? Well, you can push those around. Aw, oh, man. A lady like me shouldn't have to do that kind of work, but I think I'll manage. Use strength. It was 
that's super effective. So we've got Cheese, which heals an ally for 1600 HP and 160 MP. As a reminder, that's almost 10 times of our HP. Kind of ridiculous, to be honest. We've got Flare, Potion Badge, a badge that boosts MP. It's pretty cool, but it's not what we can do with that. And then there's these rocks like we saw before. They need a hammer to break them. B or B, I've gone to find the hammer. These rocks are too heavy to move. Cool. Did we talk to you? You can change stuff like game difficulty at any time. There's no penalty for doing so either, so feel free to play the game at your own pace. Easy mode is a joke, though. You should be ashamed of yourself if you want to play on that. <laughs> Which reminds me, what difficulty am I playing at? I am playing at Epic. Cool. Because this is an epic battle fantasy, after all. Cook around and around. Okay, this is tutorial stuff, which you guys should be you guys should be able to figure out how you control. You can either use your mouse or you can use your keyboard if you set up in the options menu like I did. So when finally stole the Greenwood Jewel, huh? I always knew that keeping it such an obvious place was a bad idea. We need to get it back, though, or something terrible could happen. Leave it to me. I'll have it back here in no time. <laughs> the Great Ritual is protecting our family for generations. How can we survive without it? The Baron Ashwood Forest will spread over these lands and destroy our way of life. Calm down. I think you're overreacting a bit. And teleportation with a slime cat. So just like in the third game, every area has a uh, slime that will teleport you to and from. This area over here we'll get to later, but let's go back to where we came from. I haven't dabbled in that yet, so we're just going to keep moving on. Deforestation. I'm pretty sure the thieves went this way into Ashwood Forest. I guess I'd better get ready for battle now. Actually, never mind. I'm always ready. Bush just going to be kept as pets as, as if, well, no, if they're bred in captivity. But wild ones are pretty vicious. So for battle, you're going to be using your mouse the entire time. I don't actually have the ability to do that yet, so for now... First Blood. Some skills such as Normal Attack and Piercing Shot have different elemental properties and special effects depending on the user's current weapon. We got Ogle Berries and Kiwi. What? An epic battle fantasy where you can't scan all the enemies? What is this trickery? Hmm. Better fight these things and. Hey there, buddies. Why are you so hostile today? Also, I should mention one very helpful thing. More firewood for the village. Not that, but sure. If you go into your skills and use any of them of any kind, then right down here, there will be a recently used tab. And you can just keep on using those abilities. It is honestly one of my favorite things about this game. Also, I should mention that I have my door open. So I currently have a puppy sitting right next to me who's trying to lick my face while I'm recording. I keep it open because I don't want to risk her, you know, tearing stuff up in the other room. She gets kind of nervous, but whenever she's sitting here, she seems to be fine. So, rather than just keep using the wind skill, I'm going to see what kind of damage I deal with my bow. Dodge this. I dare ya. Also, that was a crit, so that's not fair. If you would mark on my pretty face, you'll regret it. Yeah, that's a lot better than my wind skill, actually. Don't know why I didn't do that sooner. Okay, sweet. So, we can't chop down these trees, we can't push this block because there's rocks and rubble and stuff on the other side of it. Warning, danger. If you try talking to a foe, a battle will start, but you can always run away if you want. There's no penalty. Yuan, I know you've got something important to do, but it's pretty dangerous in Ashwood Forest right now. Are you sure you have everything you need? I can always come back to the village later if I need some more food. Plus, I can look after myself pretty well. Don't worry about me. 
Alright, but if you need to warm up, then you should fight those idols over there. They're pretty weak. What idols? They're all dead. Aha, I found you. You'll pay for your crimes, you criminal. What happened to the game? For some reason, it does that sometimes. It just defaults screens. Oh no, I can't drop this loot. I'm gonna have to make a run for it and take some hit hits if I have to. Well, that didn't go so well. Justice has been served. Now return the Greenwood Jewel, you scumbag. Check the bag, it's probably in there, but the rest of the stuff is mine, so don't take anything else. Shuffle, shuffle. Nope, it's not in here. Your friends must have taken it. I guess we'll be my hostage until we catch up with them. They only stole garbage, I swear. They're not interested in shiny stuff. We're all totally innocent. Also, no eggs and, uh, and Natalie up there, just looking horrified and sad, thinking that uh, Matt's dead. And by the way, this art style is fantastic and amazing. Well, up you get then. Let's have a look around. And now we have Matt on our team. We got 12 bricks, two dirt balls, and an iron ore. Now before we do anything, let's go into Forge. Can I make an upgraded bow yet? No, I need another log for that. How about a sword? I need another iron ore for that. Dang it. Well, now that we have Matt on our team, let's leave and come back. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I'm going to use Piercing Shot on you. Poison spells work well against most beasts, especially big ones. So if you're either attacking normally or using her bow, sometimes there's a rare chance that you will actually summon those vines and they'll do an extra hit, essentially, a more powerful hit. Now if you summon, it costs 2 SP, which you get for killing monsters, so it's nothing to be lost. And you can use the scan bot. Zoology student. Scanbot collects data on new foes. This data can be viewed while selecting targets and also appears in the bestiary. And the best thing about uh, the scanbot is that it doesn't target one person, it targets all enemies. So if there were multiple kinds of enemies here, we could actually get multiple different entries rather than having to target them one by one in the previous games. Let's try a tremor. Earth attacks might are mighty strong against er foes that are close to the ground, I guess. Alright, time to use scan bot. It doesn't give all the info immediately, you have to actually go over here, but that does make sense. They're 50% resistant to earth, 50% weak to poison. 80% weakness to fire, you guys can get what this is all about. They're very susceptible to being burned, I think that's stun, and I'll try to look at what all these symbols are so that I can remember them later. Alright, time to die. Victory for the Arcan Elite. Alright guys, on that note, next time on Let's Play Epic Battle Fantasy 4, we're going to be moving on to Ashwood Forest. We, I know we just started the game and all, but it's it's the start of the game. You have to get used to this kind of thing. You have to be ready for it to be a little bit of a slow beginning as you gain party members, gain equipment, and just upgrade yourself. So guys, I'll see you guys next time.